Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is how you can hide fruits and veggies in your kids' food. My kids are huge fans of fruits and veggies. We do feed them fruits and veggies, but they don't always eat them off their plate. And if they had a choice, they'd always pick fruit. So I went on a mission to try to find ways to put different veggies in their food so that they would still eat them. And I found a few that have worked, and so I wanna share them with you. I think all of them have veggies except for one only just has fruit. So I hope you guys enjoy this and you guys can get some ideas, and let's get into the video. Okay, so this first recipe is carrot and zucchini muffins. And I've shown this on our vlog a few times and you guys asked for the recipe. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the recipe here, but I will leave it, the link to it down in the description below, just cause it'll be kind of too much to explain here. But I will say the trick to these is when you shred the carrot and the zucchini, you have to squeeze out all of the juice. You don't want it to be too juicy or the muffins won't turn out. So, and it explains that in the, um, recipe but these are really good the kids absolutely love them it is like sugary and you know a muffin so it's not like the healthiest thing but you're getting your kids to eat carrots and zucchini so that's a win in my book And we got three thumbs up for this one. The next one is smoothies. And I feel like this is pretty obvious, but um, we put spinach in our smoothies and the kids have no idea. We actually call them Yoda leaves because the kids love Star Wars. But the way I've been making it lately is lots of apple juice, some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, and we call it ice cream. So the kids think they're having an ice cream smoothie. Lots of spinach and frozen fruit and sometimes fresh fruit as well. And this obviously got three thumbs up as well. This was something new that I tried and it turned out pretty good. And that is chocomole. I think it's called chocomole or something, but it tastes like chocolate pudding. And it's basically cocoa powder. It's a half a cup of cocoa powder, one avocado, and a half a cup of honey. And you just mix that all up and it turns into what looks like chocolate pudding and pretty much tastes like chocolate pudding. You can't taste the avocado at all. So it was a little bit sticky and hard to make in my blender, but it turned out Jane wasn't so sure about this and she actually gave it a thumbs down, but Jackson and Piper very much enjoyed it. Um, another way that we hide spinach in our food is in our spaghetti. And we usually do spaghetti and meat sauce. That, that way it's already chunky and the kids have no idea. The good thing about spinach in something that's hot and cooked spinach, it wilts down and so you can hardly even see it and um, the last clip wasn't even when it was done. I should have showed it when it was done, but the kids eat it right up and give it three thumbs up. The next one is banana bread, and I will definitely leave the link down in the description of our banana bread as well. And we actually call it banana cake in our family because again, it's all about tricking those kids into thinking that they're eating something that's super tasty, although the banana bread is super tasty. Um, sometimes we add chocolate chips to it, but Chris doesn't like chocolate chips, so a lot of the times we just eat it plain. Um, but like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description of the specific recipe that I always use, 
and um, like I said the kids love it they have it for breakfast they have it for dessert sometimes and it's just a very good go-to and this is the one that's just a fruit obviously banana there's no veggies in this one Three thumbs up again from our kids. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you got some good ideas, give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave down in the comments some of your tricks because I need some more ideas. And I'm sure other people watching this video can get some ideas down in the comments as well, and that'll be awesome. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.